Hey, what's happening, guys? This is Bharat Nagpal for iGandad. And, and it's finally here, the next generation of Motorola Moto G. Uh, now, uh, this is going to be available, or it's actually available on uh, Flipkart's website for 12,900 rupees. Uh, there is a 16 gigabyte variant only. So let's go ahead and unbox it. We're not going to waste any more time because the box is already open. I'm not going to need my knife. But uh, the minute you get in, you get the Moto G. Uh, first things first. And again, you have the matte finish on the back. Very nice. Uh, sort of uh, build quality, um, a major improvement over the previous generation. I'm going to put this to the side, I'm going to go further in. So inside the box you will also get uh, earphones, a wall charger with uh, the USB cable attached to it, a get started guide in Hindi as well as English and a safety guide in English as well as Hindi and then the limited warranty booklet. So that's everything from the box. Let's take a look at the device itself. So if we start off with the front, we have a now 5 inch uh, display versus the 4.7 inch uh, that we saw on the previous generation of uh, Moto G. Uh, you also get the same 720 pixel resolution. So that means that your pixels per inch drop from uh, 329 to 294 pixels per inch. If you look at the right side of the device, uh, you have uh, the power lock and unlock button along with the volume rockers on the top is uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along with the secondary noise cancellation microphone. There's nothing on the left of the device and on the bottom is the micro USB charging as well as data syncing port. So over at the front you have a two megapixel camera and you have these sensors that you can see over here. Uh, you have the earpiece uh, and then at the bottom you have uh, the speakerphone along with the microphone and uh, this speakerphone is not dual so both of them don't convert into a speakerphone but the speakerphone is forward facing which is nice. On the back is an 8 megapixel camera and you can see the LED flash over here. You have the Motorola logo just like last year's edition and uh, if you pull out the back panel you'll see your dual SIM card slots now dependent on market you'll either get a single or a dual SIM card slot and then you also get a micro SD card expansion slot which will give you expandable storage which makes it a pretty interesting device. Let's go ahead and power it on and see what it looks like. So once you set it up, you'll get uh, the Moto G Migrate or the Moto Migrate option. So you can choose to do that or ignore it. I'm going to ignore it. And um, basically, it'll give you a quick guide on how to use uh, the device. You are running Android 4.4 out of the box. It's actually 4.4.4. So I'll just go into that and show you that it's Android 4.4.4 KitKat out of the box. So it's uh, gonna give you a really smooth uh, overall user experience. Uh, you get nothing uh, over the ordinary Android. So you get stock Android, which is impressive for a lot of people. You do get three or four applications that are preloaded by Motorola for ease. So you get the Moto Assist app, the Moto Alert app designed for security, especially for women. And then you get the Quick Office app and the Moto Migrate. And that's about it. So you get a basic notification panel over here real quick. I'm just going to jump into brightness and I'm going to increase the brightness so that you guys can see a lot better. So there uh, you can see the user interface a lot better. You get again, like I said, stock Android experience over here. Uh, you get Chrome as your browser. I'm going to quickly open up our website. So that's our new website uh, layout. It loads up really smooth and fast. As you can see, it loads up really quickly, really runs through the content, uh, the Moto G. We don't have pin support on our current design, so you can't really, you don't really need to pinch. But you can see the text is really crisp and clear. Uh, viewing angles seem to be really good on the display as well. So overall, uh, really nice. You can switch from portrait into landscape. You can see again, really smooth overall uh, through the usability of uh, the device. Next, I'm going to play a video on YouTube. In fact, we'll go to our hands-on of the Moto G. So uh, you can see that uh, audio quality is really good and video playback looks really nice on uh, this display. Really nice 720p display from uh, Motorola over here. So if you talk about the specifications on the inside of the new Moto G, you have the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 chipset, quad cores 1.2 gigahertz, and you have the Adreno 305 GPU. You get Android 4.4.4, like I said, out of the box, but you can upgrade to Android L. You still get one gigabyte of RAM and eight and 16 gigabyte storage capacities, but you do get a micro SD card capability, which will be really appreciated by a lot of people. The battery is approximately the same, but you get a 2070 milliamp hour battery. More or less uh, the Moto G second generation or 2014 does not seem to be a major improvement over the previous gen one. 
and if you compare in terms of for example the display using the same resolution what they've essentially lost is the pixels per inch but it may not look as different on the screen of the new moto g be sure to subscribe to iGAN to get the final review of the next generation of moto g coming out shortly hit the like button if you like this video and give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or queries leave them in the comment section below and check us out on facebook twitter google plus and make sure you visit iGAN daily for your daily dose of tech this has been Bharat Nagpal thank you guys for watching